Step four, change the number of iterations. Now that you have designated at-risk output cells and have entered probability distributions for input cells, you are almost ready to run the simulation. However, before doing so, you should change at least one simulation setting, the number of iterations. The number of iterations indicates how many random scenarios you want at risk to generate. The more iterations you use, the more accurate your results will be. The only downside is that more iterations require more computing time, which can be an issue with complex models. For most models, it suffices to use 1,000 to 5,000 iterations, but you can experiment. To change the number of iterations, enter a number in the iterations box in the at risk ribbon or select a value from the corresponding drop-down list. For this example, choose 1,000 iterations. Note that there are a number of other simulation settings you can change by clicking the Simulation Settings button. No other changes are necessary for this basic model. The defaults work fine, but be aware that you can make changes. Now it's your turn. Stop this video and change the number of iterations to 1000.